Hello my friends from the Islands of Adventure. I'm excited to be back here, especially because you know how much I love Velocicoaster. Uh, the big thing that's changed here is Poseidon's Fury has reopened. Apparently it got some upgrades. I haven't checked it out yet. I'm sure you've already seen like a dozen vloggers already check it out, but I invite you to come along so we can go check out Poseidon's Fury and a couple other things around the Islands of Adventure. It is a beautiful day here. Couldn't have asked for better weather. It's not too hot, not too humid, but it is sunny. I always love, and I still need to have this who hash people have been recommending to me, but that's not gonna happen today because I think at some point I wanna hit up the, uh, I think it's called the Comic Cafe over on the, that comic strip island and see what they have there because their menu changed a little while ago and I haven't checked it out yet. That place is actually called Toon Lagoon, isn't it? Man, I don't know why when I hit press the record button, just my brain just completely empties out and I forget what things are properly called. Uh, it's just one of those things, I guess. <laughs> this is one of my favorite areas here, the all that rock work around Mythos. But I think for Poseidon's Fury, we have to head over to the opposite side here. And it looks like it's a 35 minute wait. Man, oh, I'm excited for this, to be honest. I haven't done this since 2017. It's weird to be back out in the sun. My eyes are like still adjusting, but man, that was so fun. I, I just, I enjoy, and it reminds me of like how Universal and even Disney, like MGM Studios used to be, where there'd be an actor to take you along through everything. And again, I haven't done this since, when, since 2017, and it nothing really seemed out of date to me, you know? Because I remember last time, and maybe I'm misremembering, I remember there being like weird armies and like tiny, very low resolution screens and that's the stuff that kind of made it feel a little out of date but the transitions like that water tunnel and where that one door at the end like opens up into the final room in a way that you you can't really see the transition is just one of those things that i love that theme parks are able to accomplish uh unfortunately i've heard rumors that this might have like problematic depictions and stuff like that and it who knows how long this will be lived or how long this will be around, so I'm glad I took the time to check this out. I just wish there were more um, experiences like this that are somewhere in between rides and just a sit-down show where things are happening right in front of your eyes, and I don't know. It just it fits something that's unique that I think only theme parks can do, and I wish there, there was more like this. And thankfully now that this walkway is over, we can kind of bypass Hogwarts, because that place is so busy, nobody goes there. It's too crowded. I don't think I've even vlogs going over this, but that means that there's some cool photo opportunities right around here. I just forget which direction the train's going. We could get a cool shot if we wait for a second. Yeah, let's do that. Because it'll go around us twice, and that should look pretty cool. This, this is probably the, the best coaster to open last year easily to me. There's just so many elements like the top hat, the inversions, that roll at the end, everything is just, it hasn't been topped. I haven't been able to compare it. And for anybody who's new here, I rode like almost 200 unique roller coasters last year. This, this took it for all the new ones that I rode. All right, I think it's time. Hopefully it looks like the wait's only about 45 minutes and I think it's around there that single rider is going to be on par with it, so you might as well just go in the regular queue so you can select a seat. Well, it went down very briefly. I ended up in row eight. Uh, the delay was only like 10 minutes, so it's probably somebody puked or something, and they had to clean that. Otherwise, still a wonderful, amazing, beautiful ride that's just, the, to me, the epitome of what good ride design is in you know this more modern age now that we're in it kind of makes incredible hulk feel a little out of date with the way it does its inversions its restraints its launch and all that 
but still, it's it's a really cool pairing here because you can see the history of what 20 years of roller coaster design can do. Here we have you know Intamin, and then over there you have B and M. And uh, I don't know if how much you can attribute to one particular manufacturer. It's just cool to see the evolution. So you might be wondering if my intended destination was Toon Lagoon while I'm walking here through Superhero Island. It's because I forgot to take a thumbnail photo over at Poseidon's Fury. Pro tip, take, if you can remember, take a thumbnail photo. It's better than grabbing a screen off of the video itself. And it's always a little more interesting and better in quality. At least I need to, I self-admittedly need to step up my thumbnail game. Maybe throw a logo in there or something. But yeah, that's just a little tip to you. And why I'm walking here through maybe my favorite island in Islands of Adventure, the Superhero Island. I've never really taken a real close look at all the characters that are here, but is that MODOK? Did anybody watch his show on Hulu? I'm curious. Because yeah, MODOK is here. I wonder if he'll ever be in like a MCU movie rather than that animation show. And then there goes Magneto. I think he was battling Storm. It does look cool at night, doesn't it? There's lights around. We're now entering Toon Lagoon, and I have always wondered, there's like a whole stage space for like entertainment over here and they've done nothing with it i've wondered always wondered and i want to check at some point to see what used to be in there all right so i think we're looking for the comic strip cafe which is right here on the left all right let's go check out this menu supposedly i've heard there's even ramen on the menu a tofu ramen pork ramen do we want ramen today in this heat i don't know <laughs> oh, that cool blast of AC. Oh, yeah. All right, looking at the menu here, we got bacon cheeseburgers. Let's do a little zoom in here, see if you can read it as well. As long as it focuses, huh? So, we got bacon cheeseburgers, pizzas, egg rolls, ramen, tofu ramen, and I don't know what beef bulgogi rice bowl is, but that sounds actually kind of nice. So here we are, the pork belly ramen, or the char siu ramen. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks legit. All right, and this, this looks really nice. Wow, okay. Um, it came with an egg roll, or it was a little add-on. I think it was just a little bit more. And then they actually had juca, or yucca, or kasava. However you pronounce it at home, I pronounce it juca. They had juca fries, which is awesome. I actually got some uh, mayonnaise and ketchup that I'll turn into salsa rosada or pink sauce or whatever you guys call it. Um, some people call it mayo mate, which is pretty hilarious to me, but I'm going to dig in here. I'm going to give you my thoughts in a moment. And yes, they did give me chopsticks for the ramen, thankfully. All right, I figured step one, let's try this egg roll. I didn't say what's actually in it, but it looks like the type that you get just from like, I don't know, Chinese takeout. All right, so I just bit into it. It's not that crispy, unfortunately. It is a vegetable egg roll. I don't see anything else going on in there. At least I don't think, but I mean, it's chewy. Probably not the freshest, and judging by how empty it is in here, uh, I'm not surprised. So, I don't know. I think I'd give this a skip and not do the add-on. I think it's like an add-on to the ramen. So in the tray where that egg roll was, I decided to make a little salsa rosada. It looks a little orangey here. Maybe it needs a little more ketchup. I did half like equal parts. I don't know, but this is what I traditionally dip my juca fries in. All right, that makes me happy. These are fresh, crispy. That's real nice, that's real nice. I can't believe they have that here. Like, I think I saw it as like a specialty thing at the booths at um, Flower and Garden. But here you can come to Toon Lagoon to the comic strip cafe and have some juca chips. That's like, it seems like it's unheard of, you know, but anyway. Yeah, I give that a big thumbs up. All right, please don't make fun of the way I use chopsticks. We're gonna try each of these things first. So I'm gonna try a bit of the pork belly. Not too crispy, kind of soft. It, the taste is really good. Now let's see about, oop, got a noodle with that. It's a little too vinegary. That's kind of how they get the color, like vinegar soy sauce combination. Soft boil it, put it on ice. It's all right, 
Oh, that yolk fell apart. All right, so I mixed it up a bit, tried to untangle this mess of noodles. They're not really falling apart like you'd expect them to. Yeah, the, the noodles, I would have thought they'd be just like ever so slightly thicker and just like a little less stuck to each other. The broth though is pretty good. It's missing a little bit of something. I, I'm not sure what, but all combined, I would say I would actually get this again. This was pretty good. So I'm down here now in front of that water ride, the, the Bluto's barges or whatever it's called. Again, things just leave my brain as soon as I hit record. But there, <coughs> some of that pork belly fighting back. But this is like the lagoon viewing area that's just beyond the, the olive, that ship that's there. And just as a postscript to the meal that I had, it is starting to hit like a little heavy, which is crazy. But right behind me here is the roll. And this is the location where I was able to get a photo, which I actually sold to Intimate of all things. But if you want to try to, if you have a zoom lens, you can try to get a nice shot around this area. You get some cool views. You can even get, um, if I turn around even more here, you can get some shots of Incredible Hulk here. So I think I'm going to leave you guys here. That's going to be it for the vlog. I'm going to hopefully take some cool shots of the Velocicoaster from here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.